good morning to all of you in the last video we discussed a certain topics related to chapter wave the first we define a wave the wave is nothing but it is a kind of disturbance which carries an energy from one point to another without transferring the matter after the completion of definition of wave we discuss there are the two types of waves on the basis on the basis of their medium the first wave is that mechanical waves those waves which need a medium for their propagation for their propagation is called mechanical waves non mechanical waves are those which do not need a medium for their propagation they can travel even in a vacuum also again we divide mechanical waves on the basis of their vibrations of a particle in that case the first wave is the transverse wave in the transverse wave the vibrations the vibrations of the particle are up and down in the longitudinal waves the vibrations of a particle are to and fro or we can also take it as taken it as back and forth after the completion of the last video today we discuss a certain terms related with the wave there are this important terms related to the wave motion in this important term the first term is your amplitude amplitude is nothing but the maximum displacement of a vibrating particle from its equilibrium position or we can also taken it as mean position is called the amplitude as you see in this diagram in this diagram there is a straight horizontal line that straight horizontal line is taken as line of zero disturbance or mean position or equilibrium position the horizontal straight line indicates the mean position or equilibrium position or a line of zero disturbance in this case the amplitude is taken you can see the vertical line that vertical line indicates the green color the, the vertical straight line is nothing but amplitude the amplitude is taken from the mean position or equilibrium position this amplitude is the maximum displacement of a vibrating particle and it is taken from the equilibrium position and the amplitude is denoted as or you can also call you can also call it as represented by a capital a or small a and its si unit is amplitude is always measured in si unit and it is taken as m meter and the next important word related to we related to the wave motion is your wavelength again important term related to the wave the wavelength is called as is taken as the distance between two successive crust or two successive trough as you seen in this diagram as you seen in this diagram the upper portion of the wave is up the upper portion of the wave you can see the there are the two crust in the lower portion of the wave you can see the two troughs crust to crust or trough to trough is taken as one wavelength crust to crust is denoted as lambda trough to trough is denoted as lambda this lambda is nothing but your wavelength that is also called as it is a one wave and the wavelength is also measured in meter and it is denoted as lambda again you can see the diagram in this diagram amplitude is nothing but the maximum displacement of a particle from the mean position that is taken as amplitude you can see the diagram here in the diagram amplitude is written crust or peak peak means the maximum displacement it is called it is also called as peak peak is nothing but the maximum displacement or it is also called as crust you can see the amplitude again in the lower portion of the wave that is amplitude is that amplitude is, is in the region of trough lambda is mentioned lambda is mentioned lambda is taken from the crust to crust in the upper portion of the wave lambda is again taken from the lower portion of the wave after this we have another term that term is called as time period time period is nothing but the time taken by the wave to travel a distance which is equal to one wavelength as you seen in the diagram 
there is lambda in the upper portion of the wave that lambda is taken from crust to crust it means that how much time it will take to reach crust to crust that is called as time period or you can also call it as you can also call the definition of time period is also taking it as trough to trough and the time period is denoted as capital T or small t and time period is always measured in seconds. Again the important term is the frequency. Frequency is nothing but the number of waves produced in a one second in a medium is called frequency. It means that in one second how much of how much waves are produced in a medium. It can also be defined as the reciprocal of time period. So you can also define as reciprocal of time period. You can write any one of the answer related to the frequency. Frequency is nothing but the number of waves produced in one second in a medium is called frequency. It can also be defined as the reciprocal of time period. It means that that is F is equals to 1 by T. F stands for the frequency equals to 1 by T where T stands for the time period and the frequency is the ascent of frequency is per second per second or S raised to minus 1 or Hertz. The next word is wave velocity. The velocity associated with wave propagation is called wave velocity. It means that the wave moves with a certain velocity. The waves move with a certain velocity from one point to another. That velocity is called wave velocity. You can see the diagram. When a wave travels from one point to another point, the wave is having certain velocity. And that velocity is itself called as wave velocity. And wave velocity is measured in meter per second. The next word is your angular frequency. Angular frequency is nothing but the rate of change of phase with time. The rate of change of phase with time is called angular frequency of the wave. As you see in this diagram, the dotted lines is taken as line of zero disturbance or mean position or equilibrium position. The dotted lines. In that dotted lines, there is a angle 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree, again 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360. When the wave starts from a certain point, that's when the wave starts from a certain point, the starting point of the wave is taken as 0 degree and it reaches and reaches up to a 360 degree. As you see in this diagram, the wave starts from 0 degree to up to 360 degree. That 0 to 360 degree is taken as one wave. In this wave, in this wave, how much angle it is covered, the angle covered by the wave is 0 degree to 360 degree. This 0 to 360 degree is also taken it as 2 pi. Because 360 is nothing but in terms of 360 you can also write it as 2 pi. When the wave starts from 0 to 360 degree it will take some time. That time that time of this wave is called as time period. That time period is denoted as capital T. And the angular frequency formula is and the angular frequency formula is omega is equals to 2 pi by t where 2 pi is nothing but your phase. In, it means that one, when you say a one wave when you say a one wave that one wave describe an angle of 2 pi. To describe an angle of 2 pi, it will take some time. That time is taken as capital T. And omega is equals to, omega is equals to 2 pi by T. Where omega stands for the angular frequency is equals to 2 pi by T. 
टू पाई बाई टी के नाम सो भी रिटर्न एज टू पाई इन टू वन बाई टी एज यू ऑलरेडी नो इन द लास्ट डेफिनेशन इन द लास्ट वर्ड इन द लास्ट टर्म द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज नथिंग बट योर वन बाई टी सो ओमेगा अगेन री राइट एज टू पाई इन टू वन बाय टी इज नथिंग बट योर एफ सो इन प्लेस ऑफ वन बाय टी वी कैन राइट इट एज एफ सो ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू टू पाई एफ नाउ इट बिकम्स योर एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी सो एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर्मूला इज ओमेगा इज इक्वल्स टू टू पाई इन टू फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड एंगुलर विलासिटी इज मेजर्ड इन रेडियन पर सेकेंड again you can see the diagram in this diagram there is a complete description of a wave complete description of a wave in this diagram you can see the dotted lines that dotted lines indicates the equilibrium position or mean position or line of zero disturbance so in the last video i mentioned the i draw this diagram and some of the students ask me sir what is the meaning of line of zero disturbance or equilibrium position or mean position so in this diagram you can you can clear your doubts the dotted line is nothing but your equilibrium position or mean position or line of zero disturbance now there is a one there is a wave that wave is nothing but in this wave you can see the parts the upper portion of the wave is called as crust the lower portion of the wave is called as trough in this wave the particles are vibrating up and down you can see the vertical line blue vertical line blue vertical line that blue vertical line gives the direction of disturbance the vertical line blue vertical line gives you direction of disturbance dotted line is nothing but your equilibrium position and the wave travels in the direction of your right side direction of travel you can see the direction of travel is given by the arrow mark that arrow mark indicates the wave travels in the right direction in this wave you can see the crust you can see the trough amplitude is nothing but amplitude is nothing but the maximum displacement of the particle from the mean position or equilibrium position and wavelength is already discussed from crust to crust trough to trough is taken as wavelength that wavelength is denoted as lambda the next word is the wave number wave number is nothing but the number of waves the number of waves how much waves or the number of waves present in a unit distance of the medium is called as wave number and it is the reciprocal of the wavelength so its formula is that is formula is nu bar so nu bar is equals to 1 by lambda because 1 by lambda is nothing but your reciprocal of the wavelength so it means that nu bar is equals to 1 by lambda the assign it of wave number is per meter or m raised to minus 1 propagation constant or angular wave number it is the phase change per unit path difference so propagation constant is also call it as angular wave number angular wave number is nothing but it is the phase change per unit path difference so i already discussed the phase phase means to describe a one wave that one wave describe an angle of 360 degree or it is it is taken as 2 pi so propagation constant and or angular wave number is denoted as capital k and its formula is 2 pi divided by lambda where 2 pi is nothing but the angle described by the one wave it is also taken as 360 degree but in place of 360 degree we have write we have to write 2 pi 2 pi divided by lambda where lambda is nothing but your path difference it means that wavelength and its assign it of wave number 
the assignment of angular wave number or propagation constant is taken as radian per meter or radian m raised to minus 1. The next topic is your relation between velocity, comma, frequency and wavelength. It is the important concept because this one is this con on the basis of this concept you have two marks or three marks there is small derivation or a small important equation for important for the first year and it is also useful for the second year also to solve some questions and for the neat CT also. The really how, how what is the relation between velocity frequency and wavelength so you have to derive an equation in this equation you, sh you should have velocity frequency and wavelength so let's start with let's start this derivation so you already know the basic formula of motion in straight line is distance is equals to velocity into time distance is equals to velocity into time but this formula is now applied in this chapter in this chapter means you have to apply this formula in a wave but in the wave chapter the distance is taken as lambda because lambda is nothing but your wavelength and wavelength is nothing but it is also a length so this length is also taken it as distance so so distance is equals to velocity into time is the basic formula so in place so now you can write you can write it as velocity is equals to distance traveled divided by time taken it is basic formula when the distance equals to velocity time then velocity easily calculated by distance traveled divided by time taken here the distance traveled means when the wave travels from one point to another it taken is it covers a certain distance or certain path that certain path is taken as lambda lambda that lambda indicates the distance travel that distance travel is equals to lambda lambda is nothing but your wavelength to cover a certain wavelength it will take some time that time is taken as capital T where capital T is nothing but your time period lambda is nothing but your wavelength so velocity is equals to lambda by T but next formula is equals to so keep the lambda same as it is so lambda is e into so you can change this equi this equation lambda divided by t is can be written as lambda into 1 by t so 1 by t is nothing but according to your frequency formula frequency is nothing but 1 by t so in place of 1 by t we should write f so lambda into f gives the velocity so Check the, check the equation. In this equation, you have the velocity. In this equation, you have frequency. In this equation, you have wavelength. So, this is the answer for relation between velocity, frequency and wavelength. So, in case in the exam, if there is a question, how can you derive relation between velocity, frequency and wavelength? This is the method. So, velocity is equals to frequency into wavelength. So, V is equals to F into lambda, where V stands for velocity f stands for the frequency lambda stands for the wavelength so wave velocity is equals to frequency multiply with wavelength so this is the last topic in the next topic or in the next video we discuss we, dis we discuss a new topic in this chapter if in case if you have any doubt re related to the previous video and this video you can also call me on this number. So please note down my number. That number is 996493 Thank you for watching this video.